Hey guys, Gabe here, that guy Breadstick, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Saker Gold Nuzlocke. Last episode, we made our way over into Violet City, got a few new encounters, rounded out our team. In this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to head inside the Sprout Tower and fight some trainers, get, get some more Pokemon before we, um, prepare, as we prepare ourselves for the Elite Four. But I want to go ahead and grab this encounter, which I guess is a Glam Meow. Interesting. I honestly thought it would have been a, um... I thought it would have been on a different Pokemon, but I guess not. Like, I actually thought it would have been a... Ghastly, but... I mean, I'll take it. Glammy out, I'll send you to the PC. We're gonna name you, um... Yeah, we'll name you Camo. Like the cat sitting next to me. For everyone that knows, one of my three cats... Camo is the fan favorite because she always appears in streams. She's right now sleeping right now sh and stretching. Sleeping and stretching. But let's go ahead and hit an Ember here. And I think I want to do a switch out to Heimlich. Actually, no. Heimlich was not the right choice. Heimlich was definitely not the right choice. All right. Oh, shit. But yeah, I, I did say... I mean, I did say... But I did some off-camera training... Just because I wanted to be able to grab those levels. Um, but yeah, because um, I, from what I can remember, I tried once th doing this with my friend, and this, there's this one mage that has like this Mareep that can thunder shock you to death. And I just remember it not being very fun. So I did not want to test that theory. Um,. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to test that theory. And we're just going to keep moving, you know? I think that's the best thing we can do here. But let's go ahead and plop that potion down. And we'll walk through here. And what is this? Paralyzed heal. That's going to be great for um, that Mareep that we were talking about. But let's go ahead and fight you. Bellsprout, easy dubs. Perfect. Poliwag. Let's go ahead and switch out to Pepper. Pepper also has... Oh, shit. Why you gotta do me like that, man? Oh, okay. Not mine. Perfect. Alright. Execute. Let's go ahead and switch into Ember. And perfect. Let's go up here now and take this ladder up. And grab this Pokeball. And we got the X Accuracy, which probably we're going to sell for some cash. And what is this Pokemon? Oh, another Bell Sprout. Interesting. Alright, perfect. Alright, I think this is the Mage from what I can remember. I could be wrong, though. But I want to switch it out just in case. Because what would be able to tank a hit? I think my Darwin could probably... T Actually, no. I don't want to Darwin right now. I think Pepper could tank a hit. Because I think Electric's not going to be super effective against Grass. So, I think it's actually going to be not very effective. So, if I can get some good damage... Oh, you growled first attack? Say less. Holy shit. Hoot hoot. I'll throw in Heimlich here. I think Heimlich's the move. With the Confusion. Perfect. And then Oddish. I can honestly keep Heimlich out for this and do a Gust. There we go. And Knuckles is now getting some better moves. I think Knuckles is actually in the slower leveling up category, which is actually really good for grinding purposes because there's going to be a lot of a lot of grinding in this game, unfortunately. But we got another potion here, which I am more than excited for. I'm going to go ahead and switch Cinder up back to the front. Because I do want to try to get Cinder evolved. Again, uh, my goal this episode is to get everyone that can get evolved before level 20 evolved. Um, and there's one. And we got Dragon Rage just now, which is going to be great for us in late. I mean, not good for us for early game. But there goes Cinder for its evolution. 
And I'm going to go ahead and switch Chain Chomp up to the front. So then I can get that evolution. And I think the only two others that can evolve is Knuckles and Pepper. Which... Pepper is going to be a weeping bell for a hot minute, dude. I just, like... I I was looking at the level... Like, the moves. And really, it doesn't learn a lot of different things until late game. Which is kind of dumb. But... So, I think it being part poison type makes it where I'm not going to do much. Alright, well, that's fun. Let's throw Chain Chomp back out. Yeah, that was a smart choice. That was a really smart choice by me. And then we could throw Knuckles back out to finish that battle. Which was a very smart choice, indeed. I'm making smart choices right now, which I'm very proud about myself, because I never usually make these smart choices at all. Um, I think I'm in a good position right now. Let's just go ahead and go up to this next mage. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and bite. One tap. I'll take it. Knuckles is getting that level, those levels. I'm going to keep you out, and then I'm going to switch to Heimlich, so that I can get the levels off. Let's do a Bug Bite. Nice one tap. Um, hoot hoot, let's switch out the Chain Chomp. Good crit. Really good crit. Alright. So if you switch out, does it get rid of the Leap Seed entirely? I think so. I'm not I'm not actually too sure about that. I should probably look that up. That would be good that would be good to know for Nuzlocks. But let me go ahead and plop down. Actually I think I should be okay. As long as I don't do any dumb switch ins, I think I should be okay. Um But yeah. I think I think I'm gonna be okay for a good portion of this series. Um hopefully it doesn't get too hairy. Oh, I mean, this game is not that hard. Um, the only one that's super hard is Whitney, which I have a super effective Pokemon for. But I'm not really confident in its speed. And with this being harder, I don't know how much harder they made that. Because it's Knuckles, Knuckles is a boy, and that middle tank is probably going to be a girl. So, I'm screwed, probably. But, if I can get another fighting type Pokemon, that would be a game changer for me, honestly. Let's go ahead and throw out Heimlet. Bug Bite. How did that not kill? Alright, whatever. That's fine. Hoot hoot. I could probably do Chain Chomp. Honestly, that's what I could probably do here. And we could do a Bite. I'm surprised you have Aerial Ace. And that's not good. That is not good at all. Cherubby. I'm gonna throw out Cinder here. Dude. How'd that not kill? I'll take that. And then Shingling. I'll keep Cinder out for now to tank some hits while I heal up. Actually, no. It's not even worth it. Because I'm going to keep my potions for the gym. So let's just Dragon Rage. And Knuckles is getting those levels. What level does Knuckles evolve at? Ooh. Also, yeah. So this is what I was talking about. Um, we are going to be able to get air ourselves... Um, Hold on. We are, we are going to be able to get ourselves a Eeveelution here. And I think the one that's probably going to do me the best here in this playthrough is probably Glaceon. Honestly. Especially right now and late game. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and grab that Shield Ore. And they gave us Flash. Which I don't really think we need. So let's go ahead and go to my bag. First off, let's go on an escape rope out of here. 
I like how the Toto dial also rotates. I think that's so cool. I think this is the one game. That I wish they kind of brought back. I know this type of style for the Chibi. I mean, for the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I wish they kind of brought back Chibiified things like that. But let's go ahead and evolve my Eevee to a Dart. I mean, to a Glaceon. And there we go. So now what I want to do is I want to get Glaceon up to level 15. So then I can grab that move. And Icy Wind. Because it does learn level at level 15. It does learn Icy Wind. Which would be a great pickup. Like a great, great pickup. So I'm going to see if it um, can do that. And then I also want to get this Totodile evolved. Because if I can get better stats on these Pokemon, that would be great. Um, I wish I could probably do Bellsprout. But Bellsprout probably shouldn't even be brought to the gym. Honestly, just for safety purposes. So it doesn't get a um, so it doesn't get O-Code by a Pidgeotto or something stupid. Um, but we'll see what happens. All right, but I am worried that this Glaceon is gonna get one shot by something, and I really need this Glaceon. I really don't need the Chain Chomp, but I'm gonna kind of play my e play my role back here, where I'm just gonna give him the EXP share and kind of just moosey on in, bite. Good hit. So hopefully we can get some good hits and be able to do what we need to do here. Ooh, a Magnemite. That's not good. Let's go ahead and switch into Knuckles here. Let's go ahead and do a Vital Throw. Good hit. Very good hit. I will take that. And perfect. And if I can get... If I can get those two evolutions, I think we should be in good shape here. Or not those two. If I can get a level, and then if I can get the evolution. I think I'll be satisfied with where we're at. Perfect. How much more EXP does Darwin need? Let's see. 395. God damn. Let's go ahead and switch. Uh, but Chain Chomp does need the levels. That's what's frustrating right now. Because I was going to be like, let's go fight some water type Pokemon. But honestly, Chain Chomp needs two more levels, which is a necessity right now. Even though I probably should have healed there. Oh well. I mean, we got to switch out anyways. Good hit. And then while it's charging, we hit another Razor Leaf for the dub. Now I should probably heal up before anything gets too horrible. And I'm just going to double potion. I'll probably sell some items or heal or something. In the, Not in the meantime, but in a second. Let's go ahead and switch out to Heimlich. Good bug bite. I'll take it. Alright. And let's do another switch out. We'll, put, we'll switch the Cinder here. I think that's fine. And let's do an Ember. And I I just need to start seeing some better Pokemon here, or else we're not. This is not gonna be a fun playthrough. Or not a fun playthrough, but a fun eventful episode. I don't know. If I can keep it under 30 minutes, though, I should. I mean, I, it shouldn't take me that long. I don't think. Alright. Because I only need one more level on Chain Chomp. And how far... Are, uh, I only need one more level on Darwin and one more level on 
Chain Chomp, which Darwin will get it in this next turn. Darwin will get Icy Wind in this next turn, which will be what I need. Alright. Bro, how did you not die there? Okay. Yep, Darwin gets... Oh, do you not learn Icy Wind? Am I tripping? Hold up. No, 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 no. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. We them boys. Did I just do all that grinding for absolutely nothing? No, it says it learns it by level up on level 15. That's absolutely fucked. Oh, it got changed to level 13 in this game. That's fucked, you know? I'm gonna just go ahead and PK Hex that. You can call it cheating. But that was the whole point, was to get it to that. But I, it seems like I've done fucked up. by trying to overlevel my Pokemon. And that was scary scary. But I mean it's fine. We're chilling. But yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to PK hex that. We do. But it's fine. What are you gonna do about it? And let's go down this way. I think if I do some bites, I can get away with this. Perfect. Now, I just need some better level Pokemon here, and... I could honestly probably go to the tower. I think that's what I might do. Go to the tower and get those better XP Pokemon. I think I was getting some pretty good XP there compared to I am here. But let's get rid of this paralysis. But, I, I mean, to be fair, I I didn't know it was changed for this playthrough. Um, so, I think that's fair, because I was doing it in the way that the game would actually intend it. I checked, it's a heart gold, in heart gold, soul silver, that is what level it involves. I mean, learn Icy Wind deck. So, that's the level I was going for, but it didn't really translate that well. So... Hopefully, I mean, if viewers have an issue with that, I guess they don't have to watch or they can comment shit or whatnot. But I don't think that, I think that's fair game. I mean, I try not to cheat heavily. Like, if I need to make a couple adjustments, then I think we're okay. Like, especially with the Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Like, and I didn't know you couldn't evolve your Pokemon without the National decks, Which... I think was kind of dumb, but, so we had to PK, we, so all of the Evos that are Gen 2 onwards, and, so Gen 2 and Jury, I guess, and Fire Red Leaf Green, we had to PK Hex, which was kind of unfortunate, but, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Alright. Okay. Okay. This needs- this process needs to hurry up, Lamal. I'm at that point where I'm just gonna start biting things, even if it's super effective to me. Like, that's- I'm kinda brain dead right now, doing this. But I- I'm not gonna let Toad die out. I refuse. We're gonna go heal. Alright. My first death will probably come in the gym, though. That's what I'm, that's, I'm not banking on it, but I'm, that's what I'm thinking. But, let's go ahead and go back over here. I think I was actually getting be better XP over here. I think I was just gonna get XP because of the training. But that, this might actually be my level up here. Oh, that was close. If only I was getting more drift limbs, but, hey, I think this Nakata will 
do it for me. If I can hit it. There we go. Perfect. There we go. And now we got an evolution in chain shop. Which I hope you die beforehand because I am not using a for alligator. But with that being said, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you do join that bread of time, make sure to check my other channels in the description below. Make sure to check my Twitch, my Discord, and my other social media. But besides that, guys, we shall see y'all in the next video. Peace out, my friends.